Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to Uniquely Home. My name's Tammy and I'm so glad that you stopped by to see me today. In this video, we're going to be decorating our granddaughter's bedroom. She does not live here, so if she did, I might would tweak a few things, but she doesn't. So it's going to be a cute little girl's room and she's old enough now that she don't mess with decorations and stuff like that. So I think she'll love it and I hope y'all do too. I hope you get some inspiration for your own spaces and let's get to it. So here's a glimpse at what it looks like before we get started with the decorating. And in case anybody wondering, my walls are Agreeable Gray by Sherwood Williams. And the trim and the doors are Alabaster by Sherwin Williams. The bed is a trundle bed, so it has a pull out underneath the bottom. We don't currently have it set up with a mattress in it, but that's where she puts all her stuffed animals. So I got this mirror hung up already, but before I took the tags off and got it clean, I just wanted to show y'all the pricing. And I almost want to believe that it was like 75% off, so it seems like I got even more of a discount off of that 52. Either way, it's a great price, beautiful mirror. This picture came from Hobby Lobby. It was originally $49.99, but of course I got it when it was half price. These candle sconces came from Goodwill. And I'm just adding some taper candles from Hobby Lobby. And underneath that, I'm just going to add this picture of a cow that also came from Hobby Lobby. And of course, we got to have some toys. To this side, I'm just going to add this little bench from Hobby Lobby as well. That little dolly. I don't think you can see it from here, but it actually is crocheted and it has our our last name crocheted into it. And that was from a friend and co-worker. Her mom made that. It's an awesome gift. Now we're going to move over to the other side of the bedroom. This picture I got from Hobby Lobby several years ago but I have saw it recently, so it is still available. I love the pink and green. These candle holders also came from Hobby Lobby and they were on sale for, I think, $4.49. They are wood, but they are very lightweight wood. And I'm just going to go in with some of these twisted blush colored candles that also came from Hobby Lobby. And next we're going to move over to this little corner and add her little chair. 
that little chair I got from Goodwill and I believe it was like a dark red or blue and I just got some chalk paint and painted it to match her room. Next we're going to go in, in with this cute little mirror. It's beaded. It's from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to hang it at a height where she can see herself in it. And just above that, I'm going to hang two pictures with gold frames. These frames do have pictures in them, but they are family photos that I'm not sure everyone else would want shared on the internet. So we'll just leave them covered for now. Now over to this wall where we hung the mirror earlier. I'm just gonna add a table. This is between the closet door and the entryway door to the bedroom. And to this table, we're gonna add this beautiful lamp. I showed y'all this lamp in a previous video where we did some vintage shopping and this is one of my favorite finds from that shop. To this side, we're just going to add a faux book from Hobby Lobby and a faux greenery piece that I picked up at Bell's Outlet during Easter. And to the front here, I'm just going to add these cute little cherubs. They are actually salt and pepper shakers. My best friend bought me these years ago, so I've had them a long time and I just think that they're cute right here. Now moving down to the bottom shelves, we're just going to add this cute little big To the other side, we're going to add this vintage bowl and picture set that came from my mom. Now moving on to the main wall in the bedroom where the bed is. I'm going to add this frame. This is just a picture frame that I got from Goodwill or somewhere. Seems like it was a brownish color and I did some rub and buff and then did like a white wash of paint on it. And I think it turned out cute. And we're going to hang it above the bed. And we're going to put this little sweet dream sign in the middle of it. I think that'll be cute.
this is a trundle bed y'all and it's not my favorite to make up so maybe i spared y'all some of those details but now we're going to add the pillows i'm just going to add her sleeping pillows to this end and to the other end i found these two pillows at goodwill i mean they were only a couple dollars a piece i just thought they were the sweetest little pattern and we're going to add them to the other end And to the center, we're going to add this cute little cow. And to add a little more texture, we're going to add this throw blanket here to the edge. No rhyme or reason, just kind of put it up there and leave it a little wadded up to give it some texture. I think that's cute. Now we're going to move over to the nightstands. And to this side, we're going to add a couple of candles from Hobby Lobby. They are battery, these are battery operated and they have a timer on them. And the candle holders are from Hobby Lobby as well. Next, I have this little rainbow. My grandbaby loves rainbows and I got this from Goodwill for $149 and I liable to have paid cheaper than that. You never know. Just going to sit it here. And another little angel that my best friend got me. Now moving over to the other nightstand. I'm going to add a vase on this side to kind of balance out the height. And I have a little odd shaped vase with just some faux stems. And this cute little book that says Faith. I love the green that's in the book. Just going to sit it there. I'm going to set this little candle on top to bring some pink over to this corner. Okay, y'all, we got it done. I'm going to turn the camera around and show y'all how it turned out. I think it looks great. I hope y'all enjoy it.